No talking today, Case. I got no voice left. So you're going to mime the whole I, thing? I realized that after I went like this, I was out. Actually, one time I went to interview Celine Dion. This was in the early days of OTR, and they called and said, uh, she's a big golf fan, she's opening a restaurant, um, you know, come and shoot the opening, you can interview her, you know, we'll talk about, you'll talk about sports, and she'll talk about a restaurant or whatever. So I get there, and I think, well, this is really cool, we don't normally do this kind of stuff, but it's Celine freaking Dion. So I get there, and her husband, uh, Renee, comes up to me and shakes my hand, and he's a big TSN fan and a big TSN watcher, so he, he, he knows me from TSN, right? And he says, all right, let's do the interview. And I say, well, um, you know, how, how about your wife, Celine? He goes, no, she's not talking today. I go, not talking today? What do you mean? He goes, uh, she's resting her voice. So I say, uh, hi, Celine, uh, Michael Landsberg from TSN. She goes, okay, this is lame. This is really lame. She wouldn't say, not a sound. So I've actually been with Celine Dion for about a half hour, but I've never said a word to her, or at least she's never said a word to me. Um, so I'm trying to rest my voice because I did a lot of talking yesterday in particular. You know, one of the things I try to do a lot is to show people who suffer from a similar illness to me that I understand them. And I look for ways to do that because it, it's like saying I understand you doesn't do anything. But saying things that prove that you understand, that only someone who's been through it could understand, really does make you feel less isolated. So here's what I think. Three words sum up what depression in particular, what mental illness poses to you. It's like every step you take, instead of your shoe squeaking, it makes a noise. And the noise is three words. And the words are, what's the point? What's the point. It's like with every step you're asking yourself, why should I take the next step? What is that going to lead me to? Is it going to lead me to anything better than the previous step? And you don't believe it will. So you ask, what's the point? You wake up in the morning and you say, what's the point? And the answer to what's the point, the answer to that question is most important, right? Because if you continue with what's the point, it becomes more and more dispiriting. And I'm going to answer that question for you tomorrow. On our birthday. Our birthday? Sit down. March 10th. Oh my God. Three years. Yeah. Maybe you'll make an appearance? No. No. Signalweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Answer this question. Help me out. Help me understand. What's the point? How do we get around that? What's the answer to that question?